Hello, in this video I will show you uh, how to, uh, a big mistake or problem in programming um, asynchronous loops, endless loops in C Sharp. So, uh, my first application, uh, now these days again, I had a um, small application in ASP.NET Core, uh, no, not in, in Universal W. A platform app UWP. So I'm scraping uh, in a loop, I'm running in a loop through um, uh, scanning some websites. So, but now already when I started, the wrong uh, stuff will come up. And now that's the point what I want to show a wrong behavior of a waiting loop and the, the right one. So inside there you see it's a loop from one to one, an endless loop, and I'm reading some data, and now I'm checking the website. And as soon as I type F5 there, for example, the loop always comes back, so it's not waiting. Uh, it uh, simply goes into a, it tries to open a website, and then it stops there. So when I go there with F11 or something into that step and check that stuff, now, you see it always jumps out again and 5 11 and now you see always it jumps out from this point where there is an await and this await is always the same you try there but you can make um, you can go uh, you are not able to go in a debug step around there and there's no result it's uh, the outside is no, nothing coming out. Now I switch to my to the real one. What you have to do on this point is you have to use an await in there, but a real await. So uh, inside there, I before this, I use the wrong await. Go to the defini definition. Inside here you see that's the wrong one. It's asynchronous void. And asynchronous void does not really await. So uh, if you say await there in your calling uh, method, if you say await, uh, wait, and there is behind there is the uh, cannot await void. So when you try to do this, uh, do it like this and have it there and think that this await, uh, this async will wait or do something because they are inside some await methods. The stuff itself does not uh, wait for that stuff. So when I try now the same method uh, and call it, and now I'm reading websites with a HTTP client. Now when I start it, you will see now when I click on there, it's still running, but now the output is uh, accessible and, uh, again and you see there uh, the stuff is reading and reading and reading and I may stop there so it's still interactive and on the other point it uh, wasn't so it was always jumping out of that site. I have described that stuff on my website httpsready.net uh, you will find it there with a the link below and you always have to look that you use a, an await declaration or, or, or method or that you wait await for that point and you use in your in the method which you are calling uh, async task and then bool or something else as a re return type and then uh, all that stuff works in this case it's um, read an uh, http client and coming back and after you have uh, after it downloaded on some uh, website then it needs a, a little bit time and goes on and goes on and goes on otherwise it does the same stuff it looks like the same but it doesn't work it's not waiting it's always loops very fast around